Andy Trice here. And today I want to show you something really cool that you can do with HTML and JavaScript that can be used on the web or in Adobe DPS publications. And what I've got here is an image and it's actually from a still image on the camera. And what I've done is I've added depth to this by creating a parallax scrolling effect and tying that parallax effect into the accelerometer on the device so that as I rotate the device, it looks like you're looking around objects that are in that image. Um, and the way that I did this is first thing I did is take an image, then break it apart in Photoshop and turn it into discrete layers, and then synthesize some of the edge areas that are in those layers so that when you move them, you shift them, it looks like you're looking around. You can actually see behind objects. Then take that and I pulled it into an edge animate composition. So I have a timeline. I can scrub through the timeline to see the different angles. This is actually following um, the parallax scrolling example from fellow evangelist Paul, Paul Tranny. And then I added some JavaScript to that to tie it into the accelerometer on the device. And then once I got that working, able to view it in the browser on the device, take that, package it up, put it into Adobe DPS, and use it as a 3D element inside of a, a DPS publication. Uh, let's go ahead and take a look at how to get started with this. As I mentioned before, the first thing that you need to do is take your source image and break it apart into layers. So what I'm doing is using Photoshop, and I first selected the strawberries out in the foreground and broke those out into a new layer. This is played back at a significantly higher speed uh, just so I could fit it into this video. The next thing I did was extract the sky from the background, then the plants, and finally my daughter out of this image. And then I'm using Content Aware Fill and the Clone Stamp to fill in the areas that were cut out from the original image so that they can be layered over top of each other seamlessly later on. Now I'm going to take the image layers and pull them into Edge Animate. And once I import them into Edge Animate, I just need to organize them on the stage so that it mimics the original image. So we have a, a sky in the background, we have the plants, then we have my daughter, and then we have the strawberries in the foreground. And over the timeline, I'm going to animate those for the parallax effect. Once you have the parallax scrolling correct on the timeline, then we just need to add some JavaScript to control the behavior. So what the JavaScript is going to do, and you can see this all on my blog, is that first we're going to stop playback, and then we're going to add an event listener to handle device orientation. Based upon that device orientation, it's going to jump to a certain position in that timeline, so basically where that parallax effect is. At this point, we could publish, we could test it on a device, and you can see that it's working in Safari on iOS. Now, if we want to take this and put it into a DPS publication, all that we have to do is go to File and Publish Settings and select the Animate Deployment Package. And you can either hit Publish on the bottom left, or you can go up to the File menu and hit Publish. And this is going to create the output assets. In InDesign, we just need to create a new document, and then we can drag and drop that OAM file right into the new document. And you can see we've got the composition that we created in Edge Animate. I'm really quickly just gonna adjust this so it takes up the full screen size. And now we're ready to build a folio and get it on a device. So just go to the Folio Builder panel, uh, create a new folio, so we give it the name Strawberries. We're gonna select uh, landscape orientation, and then we'll select a cover preview image. In this case, it's the same image that I've already flattened. And then we hit okay. Once this creates a folio, we now have to add content to the folio. So you just click on add article, and we'll add the open document. So let's give it the name strawberry article. And we'll hit okay. And at this point, we'll save it, and it's going to be uploaded to the InDesign service, which so it's going to build the folio, upload the article, and once this has been uploaded, we can then pull it down onto a device. Now we've got it on the device, so let's go ahead and tap the article, launch it, and you can see that we've now got that same um, three-dimensional parallax image running in a DPS publication, and it was really that simple. 
I, I've gone through this rather quickly, but you can see the full details on this process on my blog. And if you'd like to learn more, be sure to check out my blog at tricedesigns.com. And if you're not already a member of Creative Cloud, be sure to sign up for membership at creative.adobe.com. Thanks.